Gamers Table this Monday, and they're reviewing Pitch Car. <laughs> I guess Craig hasn't played it enough to give a. He's not a fan of review. flicking games. Yeah. Pitch Car is a lot of fun. It's one of those types of games. It's along the lines of uh, Procano. Once you have your place on the start grid, you must be the first to finish three laps. It's croaking all on a or racetrack. Or five laps or one lap. It really depends on what you want to do. Yeah, it's... you could go for a, you go for a season. Who knows? A championship. But yeah, basically, I think you know a couple of races is enough for me. I like the game, but it's you know, it's flicking. It's flicking. It's a croaking all variant. Yeah, I like croaking all. So this is a good, a, a fun variant on that. Uh, the only downside I can see to this is, no, well, maybe the replayability. It's not something I want to play all the time or anything like that. But it is a good, fun game that anyone can jo and enjoy. Here you got the curved on the track. You notice that the, they all interlock nicely. And if you notice this little line there, that's where you put the uh, the red plastic guardrail things so you don't, you're not you're flying not off the right track all there. the time. Exactly. There's uh, the rules uh, state very clearly what happens if you flick your car and it goes off the track. It also states very clearly what happens if you flick your car and it goes upside down, which essentially is you miss yeah. a turn. Well, yeah, the rules uh, are actually pretty simple. There's not a lot to it. Yeah, little things like uh, Chris said, the, the, the boards fit nicely together. Generally, they do. Sometimes, though, they can get a little warped from humidity and the heat. Uh, and that, when if that happens, uh, you're gonna Napkin, end up. Napkins worked the other day. Napkins? Yeah, when we played uh, with um, your neighbor. The oh, church. Todd. Yeah. Yeah. We had to put napkins. Yeah, under okay. The table. Well, yeah, the, the things were a little warped, or the table wasn't quite even, so we had to prop certain bits up. If you can't do that, or if you have nothing around to, that'll work, the tokens are gonna bounce off when you hit a lip or something like that. Unfortunately, that's the one downside to the game is if things that start happens. to warp but hey yeah neat little things like ramps in here and the, you got the guardrails and the curves and the ramp comes with the uh, pitch car expansion it's it's something you could take to a family gathering set up and uh mind you you need a fairly big table for pitch car because some of the tracks can sprawl very uh very long or wide and uh but it's one of those games that would probably draw a crowd people would like take notice it's nice and elaborate um, it's, it's simple. You race around the track and you're all the little pucks of race cars on the one end. If you flip it over or you go off the track, you just skip your next turn. The extension shows you the type of tracks you can make with the parts. Like this one shows a jump with, a uh, like two actual sections where you could fall off the track. Yeah, they've got preset maps there. So if you, you... piece of track, so you know what you yeah. could build with what you got. Yeah, or you so can just it's make nice to have whatever you want. It's nice to have that extension, the expansion bits, because playing with the base game, it's kind of limited to what you can make. So having that extra track in there is, is a good bonus. With the expansion, pitch car extension, it adds a lot new, uh, a lot more track to the game, so you can get a lot more variety in, uh, in size in your race tracks, your race courses. But yeah, so, it's a very simple game. You yeah. flick, you try to win the race. Well, I'm going to give Pitch Car a 6.5, and frankly, I enjoy it quite a bit, as long as the tiles don't get warped or anything like that, that it can be a bit of a challenge or a headache, but uh, overall, if everything's kept nice and mint and everything, I give Pitch Car a 7. I mean, it's a lot like Crokinole. Crokinole is a lot of fun, too. I'd yeah. give Crokinole, say, an 8. Something I haven't this played just a, a This time. is just a variation on Crokinole. Like, uh, Crokinole would take less table space whereas this one you want a nice big table so you can make a nice elaborate track but it it can you know if someone's clearly better it it might not be so much fun maybe if you can add some sort of handicaps on ken or something like that <laughs> ken is very Chris good will just start the flicking the wrong way on the track to mess me <laughs> no no i do not go backwards in this no game. no going backwards no. in this one yeah. okay but pitch car is a good fun family game but Pitch Car is definitely uh, something anybody of any ages can enjoy. It's certainly not a game just for gamers. That's enough for today. We'll see you again next Monday on the Gamers Table for yet another review of another game. See you later. You know what? Something was missing. What? Well, 
No, it's Craig? Actually, yeah. The ball guy over here. I really don't play this one that much. I'm not going to give it a review. Thank you. All right. Okay, no problem. All right. <laughs> <laughs> One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind.